What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. You got me Solomon here. I'm in a Honda Accord. My boy James. And uh, we're still out here in Nacogdoches, Texas at Mass Motorsports. And uh, we're on the way to Houston to go pick somebody up from the airport who is going to help us uh, do some stuff on Snickers. And I figured I'd start this intro right about here. So uh, here's some time lapse while we get to the airport. Alright guys, we're at the airport. Hey! Uh, what's up, bro? How's it going? Let's see if it's possible. Spotlight on. Yeah. Alright guys, so we just got over here and uh, we went to get Kyle from the airport. And uh, looks like some of you guys already started getting to work over here. Getting the distributor off and uh, just trying to protect it all and make sure when we pull it, nothing gets damaged. So, heck yeah. So, we're gonna do some montages until we get to uh, pulling it out. What you doing there? Oh, I'm just pulled up the Godzilla block and I'm gonna start working on the engine mounts, which I'm gonna bring in right now and made up to the block and start pulling some dimensions. That is so cool. So, yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. All right guys, so the motor is out, as you saw. And uh, it's looking really good. Got oil on everything and grease and dirt and grime. What you think? First time you saw her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Just drive her home. Drive her home. Fire it up. So yeah. And uh, right now we are getting the uh, truck and trailer ready. We're going to get this loaded up tonight so that way tomorrow we can uh, get it all cleaned up and then start mocking up Godzilla stuff. Uh, so we'll see when we start loading it. It does not burn out. Alright guys, so today's been a little bit hectic. We've been moving the truck around and uh, prepping it to get cleaned and everything. Now we're here at Harbor Freight. Home of the quality tools, baby. What'd you go say? Quality. Quality. So, yeah, we're gonna go get a bunch of stuff. Kyle, what are we getting here? Brushes. Ooh. The fancy wire type. Ooh, girl. You probably could use. Yeah, that one's thing. a little. One. Yeah, but for like the frame. Yeah, good call, good call. Do you need the skinny? The old crack cleaner? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we need a crack cleaner, I promise. This one's gonna come in handy. This, I mean, I'm sure we're going I know to. for two bucks, that one's kind of the hit too. You know, the biggest problem when you come here is that it's so cheap. You're like, like I don't yeah. know that I need it, but like, if I, I do need it, I don't want to come back here for two bucks. I'm just going to buy it. Yeah, and you're okay throwing 10 bucks away. Worst case, it's better than that. I mean, we get to keep the product, so it's not like we're throwing anything away. So we just left Harbor Freight. We got two buckets full of stuff. And uh, Kyle, how are you liking Texas? Oh, it's beautiful. Nice and cool. No humidity. This is paradise, baby. Yeah. I've been telling him he needs to get out of Washington because he keeps thinking Washington's the best. And I'm like, no, it's cold and 
there's no humidity and gloomy and rains and it's terrible don't move there yeah so anyway here is show. the accord that we get to drive and this thing is a six speed it gets 36 miles to the gallon it's pretty awesome all right guys so we're now back over here and we are at the shop we're gonna leave it on the trailer over here and uh you guys can see there's a lot to clean up and then this really needs like a you know little buff and everything now that it's all exposed it's a lot easier to get so here is some of the stuff we got we got super clean brake cleaner bunch of brushes some microfibers different things to clean so more brushes scrapers etc at the end we're gonna do some buffing we got magic erasers knee pads that's for kyle <laughs> nice so you excited i am hey check it out i brought the rain with so this will be a lot better now i don't yeah. gotta complain about being so hot i mean the weather just dropped like 30 degrees which is see nice. see i told you there's benefits to washington absolutely so uh first thing we're gonna do is probably spray everything down with a bunch of super clean and uh i'm gonna be doing montages so uh enjoy so what I, you doing under there so i finally figured out where all the oil was going and it was under here <laughs> so we got a bunch of super clean and uh i get to hang out under here and get my nice shirt dirty so that way this truck gets to look good you know like the old saying says dirty hands clean money well dirty everything clean truck yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all for the greater cause of the godzilla right exactly All right, guys, as you saw, we did a whole bunch of uh, preliminary cleaning. So it's got a fresh round of power wash on everything. Firewall's already a lot cleaner. We got so much of the grease off. I mean, that's the factory color underneath it. So it's really doing good right now. We are going to go for a second level of super clean and then wash it again. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's basically the same thing as a shower, you know, rinse and repeat. So here we go. So here we go. It's all clean and uh, looks really good. So now we are gonna take it over back to Jason's house since it's nice and clean and uh, probably get the Godzilla mocked up in there and uh, start figuring all that stuff out the motor mounts and yada 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 so we'll see when we get to Jason's house Hey Kyle. What's up? What you doing, bud? Butter in the pad. <laughs> Literally. That's a one-eyed willy. Hang on. There, now we're oh, good. Oh, now we're going. Yeah. So we went to the, you guys saw us, went to Harbor Freight. Oh, this is the good, this is a Bauer. This is premium. Dual action. DA. And this is all the wiring I got to buff around. Butter the truck. And this has one speed. Ooh, let's try what? it. What? Yeah, you could eat them words. It's multiple speed. <laughs> that lady was right. These are high quality tools high for quality really tools for really price. Oh, nice and slow too. <laughs> this is super essential, you know. guys so Kyle is doing a bang up job of buffing the firewall it looks so good you're pretty good at rubbing stuff 
do it for a living. <laughs> Subscribe and, to my uh, fans. Josh, who just walked behind the truck, oh, is going to be animals. building our... Uh, this is our dummy Godzilla. Yeah, it's a perfectly motor normal Godzilla motor, except that it got blown up on the dyno. So, how fast do you think we're going to get this thing put together? Hopefully, uh, it won't take too long. Maybe you could skip every other bolt, right? Five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, we're only putting in a couple bolts, making sure stuff's just held on together and uh, not torqued, but, you know, sitting in there, you know, make sure we have clearance and everything, put on the cylinder heads, uh, put on the front cover, see if we have clearance for the fan and everything, and uh, front clip, so. Heck yeah. Should be pretty cool, yeah. Awesome. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse to so actually see him build this thing. She well, fits, boys. A lot better than the bed. All right, set your shoes. It's like for a low flat rate. Right? You can go that way a little bit, but pretty cool. It's in there, so uh, we don't have motor mounts or none of that tonight. But firewall is nice and buffed, and, totally and uh, she's looking pretty good in there. All right, guys. So we are gonna wrap up for tonight, and uh, pretty much gonna wrap up for this trip here, and. Uh, wanted to show you guys so the motor is in place being hoisted and uh, we got the manifolds on it does not have mounts or anything yet um, but it's in there firewall is looking really nice so Jason what's uh, gonna happen now that like next steps and stuff like that yeah sure so we're gonna um, I pulled up the engine and CAD and we're gonna start drawing the motor mounts and uh, uh, work on the trans mount and try and um, figure out all the details just to get it in and do it right. So. Heck yeah. And uh, you guys, if you don't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your feedback. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, in the comments below or the description below, there's a link to Mass Motorsports YouTube channel. Make sure to check them out. They're going to start getting more into that kind of stuff. And uh, that's it. Make sure to like the video and we'll see you in the next one.